Welcome back, everyone. We are continuing the story of Jin Hyuk, whose favorite game turned into reality. And he is using his game knowledge to get super strong and steal all the skills. If you haven't watched the previous part, the link is in the description. Today's like goal is 1000 likes, and I know you guys will reach it instantly, so go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe for more videos in the future. So let's continue the story. Blue flames erupted around Namgun Hyun's body. How dare this bastard try to insult the great Central Asians? Well, the Murum was a group that had Chinese roots. They must be a good match with the modern Chinese players. Jin Hyuk clicked his tongue and activated the Eye of Gluttony. Name, Namgung Hyun. Gender, male. Age, 22. Level, 68. Strength, 36. Agility, 48. Stamina, 37. Magic, 35. Internal Chi, 85. Stat points, 0. Occupation, Swordsman. Unique ability, 1 hit sword body. Skills, LV15, Magnificent Sword. Chi, LV14, Great Emperor, Sword Form, LV12, Lonely Soul. One Sword, LV11, Unlimited Footwork. Copy Condition. You have encountered a Dweller of Murum, a force within the tower. The Dwellers who came with him are now hiding in the Triad. If you know all their identities, you will be able to copy one of the skills. At Jin Hyuk narrowed his eyes as he read the Copy Condition. There are other dwellers here? Just having one of them here was surprising. But this was the first time that so many of them had come down at once. It was simply too large of a force to descend. Considering that the Murum was a force that thought most players as ants, this descent became even more shocking. It means that they are very interested in me. He didn't know if their purpose was to capture, kill, or group with him. To be honest, he wasn't interested either way, because he had no intention of getting involved with the Murum. Instead, what bothered him the most right now was how he should copy the ability. At that moment, his soldiers drew their swords. How dare you speak like that to young master Namgung Hyun! You must have a death wish. Hundreds of players exposed their angry faces. Since he had provoked the man openly, this was expected. On the other hand, Yu Yonhua and Li Taemin, standing next to Jin Hyuk, bit their lips while ready to fight. Nuna, take the left side. Right, I will be able to warm up with this. Li Taemin activated his unique ability Machine Lord, causing various machines to appear around him. Magic bombs and magic bullets began to get loaded. Yu Yunhua had wrapped magic around her fists and hands. To utilize her skills which were optimized for close combat, narrowing the distance was the most important. I will take care of this side. Along with those words, silver armor appeared on Teresa's body. Bright light also shone from her. Her blessing of the stars. Chun Yu Song too pulled out his sword after clicking his tongue. I feel it every time I see it, but you really seem to live your life without considering the repercussions. It was absurd. What is that supposed to mean? If you were to pick a ranking for the troublemakers in the world, the name Chun Yu Song should be on top of the list. I at least think and fight, unlike you, Captain Timo. Shit. That name again. He wanted to yell back at Chun Yu Song, but more people would hear that name if he did. Right. Guess you're right. I might need three minutes here. Can you do that? Three minutes? If you want, I can take care of everything here. Chun Yu Zong smiled bitterly. This was going to be tough. Let's break through. Jin Hyuk summoned the memory of the world, and at that very moment, players on both sides moved at the same time. Different types of magic filled the air. Electric poles bent down like sticks, and the road was smashed, scattering fragments in the air. Hold on just a little longer. Teresa's use of holy reinforcement changed the group's abilities drastically. Lee Taman's mechanical drones and mini tanks grew in size. Naturally, the density of the magic bullets fired also increased. Yu Yunhua also became strong enough to smash swords with her bare hands. These ones are strong. Damn it. What is that machine? At least they wouldn't be pushed back with numbers. In addition, Chun Yusong was at the front and created a strange scene where he could push back the enemy alone. Chun Yusong advanced forward with blood covering his path. Insane. He is doing it alone. Everyone will be killed. He is a monster. He was attacking the triad players quickly, swiftly moving past them and taking them down with a single attack. 
the opposing players slowly began to step away from his advancing figure. They instinctively realized that they were no match for the players here, but at that moment, it seems like there is only trash here. Namgun Hyun made his move, fast. Namgun Hyun narrowed the distance with Chun Yu Song. His sword was drawn vertically from above to below as if it would split the heavens and the earth. Chun Yu Song's body shook at the impact. Although he had managed to block it, blood was already dripping down from the hand that took the attack. Looked like you were used to the sword, but you are moving like a little girl who learned sword outside the tower. Namgung Hyun fixed his sword position. Dazzling blue energy rose upon it. I will show the sword technique of the most prestigious family. Soon after, a spectacular sword dance began to manifest. Namgung family's great emperor sword form. A storm that devoured all within it. Chun Yusong received hundreds of sword attacks. Clashing. Blood and flames filled the air, but which side had the upper hand was clear. It was a wall that Chun Yusong could not cross yet, and his opponent looked relaxed. At best, the opponent was just testing him. He would die as soon as Chun Yusong reached the end of his stamina. And to prove it, this is the end. Namgung Hyun smiled coldly as he delivered the last blow to Chun Yu Xiong. The sword flew for his neck, making Chun Yu Xiong close his eyes. But he couldn't feel his neck being cut, nor any pain. Carefully, he opened his eyes. Three minutes. He looked at Jin Hyuk, who had finished his preparations. Jin Hyuk simply released the magic that he had collected all at once. A large flame began to gnaw on the ground. What a shallow trick! Namgung Hyun widened the distance at once, but his vision was lost due to the smoke. Was this done on purpose? Since this had happened, he would not give up his vision and rely on his other senses. Namgung Hyun, concentrating on his senses, began to raise his head. He could feel the magic from above the sky. Idiot. Moving to a place where you cannot move to escape? That was a wrong choice. But it also meant he was out of luck. Once all the tricks were known in advance, that was the end for the opponent. But... Namgung Hyun tried to move his body, but it wouldn't move because of the glacier formation holding his feet. A combination attack made the opponent look up while freezing their feet from below. The smoke cleared, and Jin Hyuk could be seen slightly. I will tell you one tip. Always check your feet when fighting. A dazzling light shone on the sword he was pointing at Namgung Hyun. Range max. LV3. Daylight is activated. A condensed pure white light was released. A straight white light was directed at Namgung Hyun. The only flaw was that the skill took time to activate, but it was still a skill with good range and destructive force. But before daylight made contact, this is unexpected. Right. Maybe Hyun cannot handle this alone. Two people from the triad came forward. Self-defense energy is being deployed. Great sword defense is activated. Two defensive skills made of enhanced ki were used to protect Namgung Hyun. The transparent wall cracked, but the target was safe due to his two allies' skills. That is pretty good. I didn't think people outside the tower had so much power. The third man walked forward. Three people in total. All the hidden rats had come out. They came out. This was the only way to find those who were hiding in this crowd of hundreds. If Jin Hyuk made a play that Namgung Hyun couldn't survive on his own, then his allies would come forward to help. And that proved to be correct. All the dwellers have been found. The condition has been met. A familiar status window appeared. Of course, the skill he had to choose was already decided. You have successfully copied the unique ability, Infinite Steps Footwork. He had obtained the skill of a Murum dweller. Jin Hyuk's heart began to pound quickly. Ordinarily, he would have been satisfied and ended it here since this was already a considerable achievement. But... I am not. If he had wanted to simply end this by copying an ability, there was no need to choose fusion as his unique ability. To get more powerful and diverse skills. To use a higher leveled ability than the opponent. That was why he chose this unique ability. Infinite Steps Footwork and Sword Grave are fused. Jin Hyuk combined the two skills at once. An indescribable light appeared. And at that moment, fusion is successful. A new skill that had been made from the combination appeared in front of him. You have acquired the Sword Demon Emperor's Footwork. S. Skill. Sword Demon Emperor's Footwork. Acquisition Difficulty. S. Description. 
a martial art that is the fusion of infinite step footwork of the Namgung family clan, one of the five great families clan, and the sword grave of the sword demon. A mixture of heterogeneous skills, movement speed increases by 70% when used, and it can be used as an attack method if magic is focused on the feet. Mobility and attack power. He had acquired both at once. If it can be combined with a passive technique like shallow breathing, I will be able to use my stamina effectively and move long distances. In addition, both attack skill and magic could be used even if it was the same attack and performed with greater output. It was a skill that could truly show the essence of Murim. Jin Hyuk glanced over the details of the skill again. Originally, I thought I had to go to the 20th floor to get this. Thanks to the stupidity of the people who walked down here all by themselves, he instead had got that extra bit of reassurance. On the other hand, seeing Jin Hyuk smiling, Nam Gung Hyun bit down on his lips. He must be incensed. His opponent was looking relaxed while he needed the help of others. A crack in his self-esteem was bound to happen. At that moment. Are you fine, Hyun? Three people approached Nam Gung Hyun. The man in his thirties was Huangbo Gunak of the Huangbo family, another one of the five great family's clan members. I think it is the first time I have seen older brother Hyun sweat. A woman who was just over twenty years old was a member of the Tang family, known as the family of poison, Tang Soha. Why are you fighting so hard against such a person? Last but not least was the young-looking man, Zhuge Chun, of the Zhuge family. Damn it, it was enough for me to do this. I don't need people to do it. I don't doubt your skills. But also, don't forget the order given by the sect leader. It wasn't to kill. Brother, Huangbo Gunak is right. If he will join us, there is no need to fight. But, that guy knew about us. He knew we were from the tower. Nam Gung Hyun shouted. His words made his three smiling comrades go stiff. What? Is that true? About us? They had been far behind so they couldn't hear what Jin Hyuk had said during the fight. If what Nam Gung Hyun said was true, this was a serious matter. They had been in contact with many promising players, but none of them had known their identities. However, does he know the dwellers in the tower? Jin Hyuk, who had been the one who said it, acted as if he was hearing this for the first time. This brat. Aren't you the one who told me that a moment ago? Me? Yes. It was you. I think I said you are like a homeless person who spent 10,000 years in a tower. Was that what you were talking about? No, homeless? Is that what you said? Maybe not. Don't get mad at me, because it's bad to be yelled at for something I didn't do. Nam Gung Hyun pulled out his sword. I am done. Rather than trying to talk with you, I will cut your tongue off first. Strange killing intent rose from his body as Nam Gung Hyun took a stance. In an instant, the sword extended out. It was fast and scary. The unpredictable sword attack moved between various points like a poisonous snake brushing against the fallen leaves. Hyun, I understand that you are angry but act in control. If he gets hurt, we will be in trouble. Brother, get it done quickly. It has been five minutes already. You don't have to waste too much time to counterattack him, right? His allies kept telling him such things. This was because all they could see was that Nam Gung Hyun was just playing around. Shit. This entire thing was wrong. Nam Gung Hyun was sweating as he realized everything he did was in vain until a thought crossed his mind. Should he pretend to make a mistake and kill him instead? If only he could use a technique. But that would require too much effort. Obviously the human didn't know how to attack. Wasn't that why he kept defending and used footwork to evade him? There were plenty of ways to do this. His worries didn't last long. Nam Gung Hyun activates the Taihua Sword Chi. The sword on his waist began to radiate cold energy. It was a sword that radiated clear killing intent. And at the same time, it is a mistake. Cold air began to flow out from Jin Hyuk. To be precise, it escaped from the twin swords in his possession. Twin dragon swords answer their master's call. Creepy. Nam Gung Hyun's eyes narrowed. It was because he felt something unusual. And it was then. A sharp, high-pitched noise. Players began to shout from all around. The zombie wave from the right. The number is a thousand, three minutes away. Amid this frantic fight, the first wave had come right in front of them. This was no time to mess around. You are lucky, Huang Bo Gunak said to Jin Hyuk. He thought they might have won if the zombies had come a little later. 
Yeah, thank God I survived. You're a pretty young master. Jin Hyuk also put his half-drawn swords in. Look at how he acts. I am looking. Ha ha ha. The snout continues to live. Right, Hyun? Namgong Hyun stuttered and answered. What was that? That energy he felt before? His hands and feet were still trembling because of it. He could even feel his spine freeze. He had felt magic that was utterly different from Murum. And he was certain of one thing. If they properly fought, I would have died. Right. He would die for sure. Namgung Hyun realized this, but not Zhuge Cheon. Hey, next time no zombies will be intervening at the right time. So do not hesitate to crawl somewhere and hide, okay? You who have lived fine outside will have to bow down to us. Zhuge Cheon couldn't finish his speech. It was the sound of his face being crushed in. Sorry. What did you just say? Jin Hyuk smiled brightly as he wiped the blood from his hand. Zhuge Cheon covered his face with both hands. Blood gushed down from the hand covering his face. What did the bastard just do? It doesn't matter if we continue to fight, right? But if we fight, your side will be at a disadvantage, though. All of a sudden, Yu Yeonhua, Li Taemin, Teresa, and Chun Yu Xiong, who were all exhausted, had recovered. Of course, in the middle of this, the zombies were closing the distance at a fast pace. I guess we will have to continue the conversation later. Huang Bogunak nodded his head. The stadium is ours. Do not even think about coming here and look elsewhere. I refuse to put such trash in place. Besides, the base is already decided. You secured the base? Right. The best place on the fourth floor. Huang Bogunak nodded and pointed to the large supermarket in front of the stadium. They chose that? Not bad. It was a large mart surrounded by high walls and had a narrow entrance, making it easy to defend. Especially if several hundred people were defending it. The interior also had food, canned items, water, and many more items. If the world was destroyed by a zombie virus, then the mart would be the place everyone should head to. There was a fatal weakness there. The worst condition that no one knew about. I think the attack on the fourth floor is the most interesting thing. Jin Hyuk smiled. He had come up to this floor to maximize his profits. These arrogant Murim people were just a bonus. An appearance with peeling skin and blood dripping from their bodies. Zombies that craved only human flesh were swarming in, in massive numbers. Additionally, because of their speed, the zombies instantly reached the front of the stadium. Hyung, will we stop this? Lee Taemin was anxious as he glanced over at the plants sprouting in the stadium. The solar plant bloomed in the shape of the sun. It was quite large and didn't seem suitable for battle. Appa, no. You didn't deliberately do something like this, right? Are you doing this for a thrill? Even these two veterans had never used plants on the fourth floor for defense. This was a completely unknown method. Don't worry, because these guys are a lot more useful than they look. Jin Hyuk laughed lightly. At that moment, here they come! Chun Yu Song drew his sword and, at the same time, the land shook as the zombies arrived with a roar. The zombies attempted to enter the stadium without hesitation. But the moment the zombies set foot inside the grounds, solar plants fire, LV-1, sunlight. A large plant swelled up and released a sphere around two meters in diameter. A massive ball of magic imbued with the sun's energy exploded in the middle of the dense pack of zombies. Zombies stumbled back as their whole bodies caught on fire. I think it is much stronger than your average flame skill. All four of Jin Hyuk's companions were shocked at the sight. More than 50 zombies were evaporated at once. This is why I said it doesn't matter if we choose the stadium as the base, although there was a strict condition that you had to be the player that defeated the third floor boss to attempt this strategy on the fourth floor. Plant type items always had the greatest power. Of course, they cannot be used without me. In order to understand the characteristics of the plants and use them in the right place, experience is required. A lot of practical experience. It needs a minute or so before it can use it again. Do you think I will be bitten by those things? Didn't you say your opponents were kids a moment back and get your ass handed to you by the Murums? He barely managed to survive for three minutes. His life was even in danger by the end. Seriously. That should have been recorded and played on the loop for a whole month. It is because I lost my stamina for a moment. Have you not seen how many people I had to fight? Phew. I get it. This time please take extra care of your body. Chun Yusong groaned and moved. It was because he knew that no matter what he said, 
it would just sound like a lame excuse. Please do it right this time. Don't forget to keep building your pride until the end. Hyung, I will take the middle. Lee Taemin, who has a wide range of skills with Machine Lord, could play the role of handling the middle. After all, it was a skill that was closer to a scam. Teresa also began to move to support the plants. Now all that was left was the east, and... I'll be able to practice my skills properly after a while. Jin Hyuk took out the twin dragon sword he received. Their blades were sharp enough to make any opponent shiver. His heart kept beating quickly. He was using a relic class item for the first time. How powerful could it be? Now was the time to try it out. First with Sword Grave. Jin Hyuk began to use Ki. An unimaginably harsh aura spread all over the sword. As I thought. How could it perfectly accommodate this kind of heterogeneous and ruthless ability? As if they had been one from the start, the sword and enhanced Ki were like one entity. The zombies bared their teeth with a desire to consume human flesh. Their mouths dripped with saliva and blood. You poor things must have been starving. I will give you a lot to eat. Although it wasn't the kind of meat they desired, he would feed them enough ki so they would never go hungry again. And like that. At the top of the stadium, Black Moon Knight has been activated. A black crescent moon rose. You have blocked the first wave. After three hours, the second wave begins. Time left. Full 59 Mitsu and 59s. A short status window with a clear message. A message that announced their victory. The players, who were in different defensive positions, began to gasp for air. Damn it, they came in so suddenly that we had to work more than we thought. I know. Do you know how dangerous it would be if the last wave came like this? Keep holding on. We need to get the additional rewards at all costs. On the fourth floor, in addition to taking down the zombie waves, additional rewards are given for completing several achievements. A reward for most zombies killed was a reward for how many kills each party recorded. There was also a popularity award done through voting by subscribers worldwide that rated how varied and splendid the defense was. Those were two. Both gave the winner a chance to receive an A-grade random box, rare items, and materials that can be sold at high prices on the coin exchange. A player needed at least one of these two things to get ahead of the others. But at that moment, highlight video will be broadcasted. Another text came up. A three-minute video that was an edited highlight of each base's defense was broadcasted for the popularity vote. After all, the Chinese side is strong. The group that stood out the most was the Chinese Guild, who claimed the Mart as their base. Their performance was a combination of attack power and a strong defense. Looking at the brilliant skills they showcased, they were guaranteed a decently high score. After a few seconds, the screen changed. What was shown was the largest and most difficult base to defend. Sangam Stadium. Are you saying that five people are blocking that wide place? I wondered what kind of idiots would pick it up, but there really are idiots among us. The foolish ones. I guess so. They will die in the next wave. In defense, choosing a flame tower with tremendous damage or an ice tower to control the movement was common sense. Plants were challenging to grow and only served to bind the enemy's feet. It was something that no one would care to use. As the video continued, laughter turned to admiration. They were astonished now. Inane, did you plant those trees with something? How are they so strong? I cannot believe that they grew. What method did they use? It was strong. Too strong. A single person defending an entrance. Unless their skills supported it, it would logically be impossible. And the person that stood out the most was a black-haired Asian man at the eastern entrance. How can he handle enhanced Kui so freely? He is a player like us. But the thought of meeting him as an enemy is terrifying. The sight was akin to those players sweeping the zombies as if they were ants. The difference in power and ability was apparent. Even when dealing with many enemies alone, they didn't seem to be out of breath. This wasn't at the level of a human. Who is it? Must be a ranker. Could be China or Japan. They are the guilds who do such things. Jin Hyuk explained the plants to the rest of his team. These are bundling, and these are pruning. Since I made the soil all here, you can repot them wherever you want to. You will have to prune only the sixth and seventh tree branches. Fourteenth is... Do it in an hour. If you do that, it will grow more after that. Plants must also be grown to strengthen their defense. And if the said method was used, the growth rate could be maximized by increasing the number of plants and, at the same time, cutting out the useless parts which were taking away nutrients. 
Jin Hyuk, who gave his team a simple warning, glanced into the air. Now was the time to go and show himself. The moment he thought of that. The solar energy for the first wave has settled. As expected, it showed up just in time, making Jin Hyuk smile. You have acquired a total of 1500 solar energy. The power of the sun was obtained from killing zombies. Using this, it was possible to grow more diverse and powerful defense plants. We cannot go all the way with just the plants. The plants that blocked the first wave were powerful, but there was a delay, so it wouldn't be enough to prevent large waves. As the waves continued, zombies whose bodies were dramatically strengthened, or even special zombies that fell from the sky might appear. Naturally, plants also have to be adjusted accordingly. The tightrope between zombies and plants was the key to winning the floor. You have earned the title of botanist because you have acquired an amazing amount of energy. The solar energy you could get from the first wave was usually only 300. This was because of the speed of flowering of plants and the difficulty of growing them. That was why most players didn't even bother to see plants as anything useful. However, Jin Hyuk chose a large base like the stadium and could secure five times the solar energy by dealing with the zombies in this way. This would change the story completely. Carbon plant destructive required solar energy 300. Frozen plant ice type solar energy required 3 and 50. Rock plant defensive solar energy required 250. Runaway plant wide type required solar energy 600. There were four plant types to choose from in the second wave. Of course, he had already decided where to place the plants. I will plant one on the east, south, and center with an ice plant, one rock plant in the west. Finally, the runaway plants were placed in the pocket. Jin Hyuk also purchased additional items that he needed from the coin exchange. 10 kilograms of cow dung, 5 bags of last leaves, 100 pentelas dung beetles, and 100 gray earthworms. They all made good fertilizer. Of course, not all of them were the same. It was the privilege of only the deceased to find the optimal combination. The cotyledons of the plants are moving. They are savoring the sweetness tasted for the first time in their life. Hearing the heart of the plant was probably because of his new botanist achievement. On the other hand, the faces of the rest of the people who looked at Jin Hyuk had darkened. Nuna, he has gone crazy, right? Lee Taman gulped. You are seeing it too? How long had he been stuck in the tower? I am scared too. Mr. Jin Hyuk doesn't think he can talk to plants, right? I am misunderstanding this, right? Please tell me. Yu Yeonhua and Teresa shook their heads. If it is him, it might be possible. He is normally unpredictable. Even Chun Yu Xiong frowned in fear. Jin Hyuk continued without care. Jin Hyuk stroked the plants lovingly. Five minutes later, Jin Hyuk entrusted the base to his four compared and left the stadium. You have to sweep all the convenience stores in the alley. Understand? Food and water come first. We are in charge of medicine and necessities. It will be difficult to get out as time proceeds, so we need to secure as many things as possible. If possible, avoid fighting with other guilds, but don't let them push you around. The streets were crowded with players. There was still time until the next wave, so in the meantime, they were farming to prepare for the next wave. This isn't the time to prepare for something like this. Jin Hyuk sauntered between them and clicked his tongue. They had come here unprepared in the first place. Did they think last-minute preparations like this would work? The probability of having their base captured by zombies before the second half was much higher. Instead, dumping out their coins to strengthen their defenses was the only way to survive longer. Well, if they knew that, they wouldn't have been so worthless on the third floor. For most players, there wasn't much information about the tower. It was almost like they were seeing this for the first time. So they were bound to do such stupid things. I keep forgetting that I shouldn't judge them by my own standards. Jin Hyuk burst into laughter. While looking around like that, he arrived in front of the place next to the mart. Unlike the mart guarded by the Murim and the Triad, no one took this base. The building was cut off from people because there was no advantage to being in there, and it did not have supplies. Jin Hyuk walked in. You have entered the Geek's antique storage area. Medieval armor made of iron and pottery lined up in neat rows. Most of the showcases were smashed, the floor seemed damaged, and the dust had accumulated over time a place where ruined modernity and lost history overlapped. It has been so long. Almost eight years? 
This was a place he had stumbled on while wandering around in an experiment testing to see how long he could run from the zombies. Jin Hyuk looked at the dozens of paintings hanging on the wall. Faded landscapes that would fit in the corner of a museum. He had lost his weapons and had reached a Deedon here. He had considered a last stand against the zombies before Deeing here. Jin Hyuk stretched out his hand towards the frame, and... His hand passed through the picture. The seemingly perfect wall suddenly transformed into a passageway leading to the mart next door. I knew this. The corners of Jin Hyuk's lips went up. Jin Hyuk quickly moved to the side. No one is standing on guard. As expected, zombies and intruders would all come through the entrance. Naturally, everyone's focus would be there. They probably didn't even consider the existence of a hidden passage like this. Jin Hyuk then looked at the mountainous pile of food supplies. This was enough for a few hundred people to endure for two to three weeks. This was why the marts were good. Thanks to you, our cutie can eat a lot. Fucking bastard. I will grind him down. I will not leave him alone. Zhuge Cheon was cursing out loud as his face gleamed blue due to its large bruise. I also think Cheon is right. No matter how hard we try to get to the top of the tower, we don't need to lick his foot, right? Tang Soha responded to Zhuge Cheon. Huang Bogunak was silent until he asked Nam Gung Hyun. Do you think the same? Hyun mumbled. Huang Bogunak lifted his eyebrows. What? You aren't scared, right? Me? Scared? However, Nam Gung Hyun didn't respond to it. He was still. Because of Kang Jin Hyuk. Is this the limit? A wall that can only be felt by those who fought against him, and not those watching it from afar. Perhaps they didn't realize they were poking at someone they shouldn't mess with. As Huang Bogunyak began to address everyone, Kuang, the whole march shook with a loud roar. At the same time, terrible screams erupted from all around. What is happening? Huang Bogunak pulled out his sword and kicked the door. Obviously there was still time until the second wave, so the current shock could not be due to zombies. In addition, their highlight video would have clearly shown that they were not a place that was easily attacked, because everyone knew that they had the strongest base. A large plant appeared from the warehouse. A huge plant. Standing in between the carnage was... I brought some housewarming gifts because our cherries are edible. This is quite a shock. Jin Hyuk stood scratching his head with an innocent smile. Jin Hyuk stroked the red-stained man-eating plant. It had eaten all the food in the warehouse, so its size and power exceeded his expectations. And... The huge plant, now over ten meters, roared loudly. The air felt electrified. Contrary to the name Jin Hyuk had given, this was the most terrifying nightmare a player could see. Its large vines swept through the mart in an instant. What is all this? Huang Bo Gunak screamed as he moved forward without hesitation. If this base is destroyed, the number of zombies which will hunt you will increase. Why did you do such a stupid thing? The fourth player was a competitive stage and a floor that required at least minimum collaboration. If he would openly troll a fellow defended like this, everyone could die. Even if they were members of the Murum from the 20th floor, they could not handle it all. That stupid player must not know this. If he knew the consequences of his actions, he wouldn't have dared to do something like this. Huang Bo Gunak clicked his tongue. But... You must be afraid of the queen. The words that came out of Jin Hyuk's mouth were unexpected. Q Queen? You know about that? Of course. There were two ways to get the special rewards on the fourth floor. The first was to achieve the most kills. And the second is to be voted the most popular defensive base by the subscribers. Those were the two. But in actuality, there was another way to get the reward. There was a third way. The hidden quest, Womb of the Dead. Defeating the Queen of Zombies was the best way to get the biggest reward on this floor. I cannot believe it. How did a human who just got into the tower... A special event will happen if one of the large bases guarded by over 200 players is destroyed before three hours have passed. And that is what is happening now. I found this method as a shortcut by bringing a cheap clay doll to life. There was no chance that a well-defended base manned by over 200 people would fall before the third wave. Therefore, the Queen of Zombies would only wake up when it became known that humanity's power was weak. In order to wipe out all of the unworthy enemies in one hit, it would move directly towards the base of humanity. At Jin Hyuk's actions, 
Huang Bogunak lost his reasoning. It was true. The opponent knew everything. You knew about the queen but intend to bring her here? I don't want to block fifty waves of zombies one after another. It is boring and, needless to say, exhausting too. Under normal circumstances, they would end up staying here for a few weeks. There was a way to avoid that suffering, but there was no reason to go down the difficult path. Of course, at first, he was planning to go the long path. This was because destroying a large base within three waves of zombies would result in a massacre. But the moment he had met these ones, and the fact that they had chosen the best base on the floor, he had changed his plans. There was no reason to feel bad for those who raised their swords against him in the first place. With this, all of your base is destroyed. No matter how powerful they were, it would be unreasonable to deal with the zombies without a base. There was also a limit to the physical strength of their troops. So for the remaining time, wherever you live, do your best. His purpose coming here had been accomplished. Now it was time to head back. Jin Hyuk turned his back without hesitation. Where is this bastard trying to run away after saying what he wants? Do you think you can get out of here alive? Sparks flew out from Zuga Cheon's sword. However, Jin Hyuk paid no attention to the man as he walked out of the mart. There was no reason to fight any more after all. The plant had already turned their base into ruins. At the same time, at Sangam Stadium, a frantic black wave was pounding itself against the rocky plants. The rock plant activates LV-1 deep root. It was a rocky plant with a steep body. So steep that even the zombies couldn't easily climb over it. This time, the zombies began climbing by using each other's bodies as a foothold. The bodies of the zombies lying on the bottom were crushed by the weight, but they didn't seem to feel any pain. But the moment the first zombies crossed the shield of plants and tried to enter, a shadow fell over the head of the zombie. The fleshy plant uses LV-1 whole body leap. A fleshy plant of indeterminate size and weight crushed down on the zombies. The frozen plants were also radiating cold, reducing the zombies' speed. An effective and clean defense it was enough for the four that remained to just do cleanup work. Seriously amazing. This kind of system can even defend without any players being involved. Did Mr. Jin Hyuk calculate this? Teresa mumbled in awe. This was an unbelievable sight to see. If it is Hyung, then anything is possible. We used to go around with Appa, so I thought I knew something about him. But looking at it like this makes me feel like I know nothing," Li Taemin and Yu Yeonhua said in unison. On the other hand, Chun Yusong frowned, clearly not liking this. The more he saw his rival, the more it annoyed him at how much of a monster he was. It was extremely difficult to deal with a foe who was so much more ahead of him in terms of knowing the situation and the enemy. And at that time, Large Base Mart has been captured. A status window appeared in front of them. W what? Teresa was surprised. If it is the Mart, it is where the Chinese players were staying, right? No way. No. It cannot be something Appa did, right? Jin Hayuk had left with a smile on his face. Above all else, it didn't make sense that the top base of the floor had collapsed on only the second wave. There was no doubt. Something happened. And to prove it. A special event has occurred. Pendariel, the master of the fourth floor, moves to punish the weak players. A red status window shone on their faces. The master of the fourth floor. What is this? No way. Don't we have enough trouble just stopping the waves? The fact that there was a boss monster on the fourth floor was news for Li Taemin and Yu Yonhua. Of course, no other player on the floor knew of this either. Looks like we have something huge coming up. Jin Hyuk left the mart and moved to the roof. It was to find a suitable place to use an item. How far up did he move? Here. Jin Hyuk's footsteps stopped. There were a number of bases around, so the flow of magic felt complicated, and he wasn't far from the stadium. Perfect. Jin Hyuk took a small stone out of subspace and a special item he had gotten after defeating the third floor boss. The stone that blocks the sun. Acquisition difficulty. Unknown. Description. A ceremonial relic used in the ancient Mayab Empire, allowing it to block the sun and bring darkness. When used, it reduces the ability of the elements of water, fire, earth, wind, and light by 50% and increases the power of dark attributes by 100%. The Fury option is forcibly activated, an item that should never be used on the fourth floor. Most of the players would have one of the five elemental abilities. The item would also buff the zombies on the floor. 
Jin Hyuk crushed the item in his hand, and its shattered pieces fell on the roof. And at that moment, darkness swallowed the sun, which caused a thick carpet of darkness to fall over the building. The difficulty of clearing the fourth floor would increase now, but he didn't use the item just for the sake of the added thrill. As expected, a message that can be sent only by the boss monster appeared, the same way Elise had talked to him in the corridor of the Fallen. It looks like your men are trying to turn the bases into wastelands. Well, they could not even stop the scouts. There is no need to save energy against you people. Come out, my children. Pandariel's voice changed. Due to its lack of intelligence, the tone of voice didn't shift much, but he could feel its anger. It was inevitable for it to become angry, because a single human was standing there and ignoring the boss. Try to challenge it by sending all the troops you have. I will wipe them clean, Jin Hyuk said with a grin. Fine. Humans. Your base. It will be destroyed first. Warning to all humans. To make you regret attacking us. The message from the Queen ended there. After a few moments, all of its wrath-filled troops would head toward the stadium. Did it record well? Jin Hyuk looked at the broadcasting system. The edited video from the large base Mart is being uploaded. After seeing the notification, he clenched his fists. Nice. Everything went as planned. New video has been updated in the Tower of Trials. Due to the video uploaded by Jin Hyuk, the forum turned upside down again. Why did that large guild put up for four months? To stop zombies? Taiwan number one. Yep. Look at how annoying they are. They made it look daunting, but they didn't even know that there was a hidden boss. In what way can they break this? Stand inside the line. How careless can they be to not even withstand the second wave? Seriously disgusting. Black tea rice cakes. It is like the large guild trying to preempt the queen a while back that got taken down too. This is bad. They played with luck and lost. People continued to curse them out. The large Chinese guilds couldn't open their mouths to refute. The triad had been annihilated, and the people of the Murim weren't players, so their images couldn't be refuted. Everything went as planned by Jin Hyuk. The genocide was prevented because Jin Hyuk pulled the boss's anger onto him. God Emperor. If it wasn't for Kang Jin Hyuk, everyone there would have died. David H. That is nice, but does it make sense for five people to go against the queen? Chosen first sword. No one knows, but still, he is an S rank recognized by the nation. I trust that. Eating Manic. If it is Kang Jin Hyuk in his videos, I can always trust him. This was because of their perception of Jin Hyuk being the one who saved the other players. Opa. Did you really do this? Yu Yeonhua asked. The Jin Hyuk, whom she knew, liked to break common sense and did the strangest things. But this went overboard. Something didn't feel right. Hyung, how did you know there was a boss here? Lee Taman was a bit embarrassed too. Well, I found out after doing this and that. He had found out about this while testing things out. Even if he did put it like that, he had done countless things and challenges to discover all the hidden quests. It was Mr. Jin Hyuk who took down the mart, right? Teresa asked the question that she was curious about. I don't know much, but it probably didn't go down naturally. Jin Hyuk scratched his head with a smile while giving her a non-answer. So, is there any way to deal with the queen? The most important thing was finally mentioned. Right, it was good to get the game started and gather everything's attention. But if there was no way to solve it, then it's just suicide. And of course, there is a way to win. Jin Hyuk knew the way to end this. Only he knew it. The process would not be smooth. However, considering the rewards, it was worth the risk. I am glad you didn't do anything without thinking. So what do we do? If I tell you how, will you do it? I will do anything to survive. You cannot change those words later. Your role is vital this time. Chun Yusung nodded his head with a stiff face. Perhaps he was the most trusted person to do this task. The problem is... It is expensive. Chun Yu Xiong's expression darkened. Don't mess around. Why should I give you my coins? No. Rather. Why are you trying to rip only me off? There was Teresa, who was wealthy. And the other two were also doing quite well. So why? Yu Yunhua gave me the weapons, and Teresa handed me coins before. Above all else, don't act like an idiot here. I know the number of views you had on your video was huge. 
Damn it. You saw that? Yes, I saw it. It was fresh and nice, right? Was the video's title called Sword Technique That Would Allow the Grandmother Next Door to Survive in a Dungeon? Thanks to his ability, the video was a hit and made it to the Hall of Fame for a day. I will kill the guy who taught me how to edit the facial mosaic. Don't speak nonsense. I knew it was you right away. He had used such clumsy editing to hide his face but couldn't hide his unique sword technique. Above all, he couldn't fool Jin Hyuk's eyes, because if it was the one technique that Chun Yu Song used, Jin Hyuk could recognize it even with his eyes closed. I had to do it because of my personal quest. Well, I guess so. In order to grow as a swordsman, Chun Yu Song received a quest that he needed to receive recognition from the people. In the past, the standard had been low because the number of players was small. Now that the scale involved the whole world, millions of people had seen the video. I know you have a hefty pocket now. Donate some for the sake of the team. How much? A hundred thousand. It was the exact amount that Chun Yu Xiong had in his possession. When he heard the amount, his expression changed as if he was being made to eat poop. Everything he had collected through the quest seemed to be sucked out. Don't you have a lot of coins too? Even if you didn't touch my coins? True. But using that much is unfortunate. And why would Jin Hyuk use his own money? Hurry up. I don't have time. Jin Hyuk snapped his fingers. He was the captain of this base, and the others were his sailors. Above all else, in order to defeat the mighty enemy, they needed to obey the captain's orders. You have received 100,000 coins from player Chun Yusong. Chun Yusong gritted his teeth as he gave up his coins. At that moment, sounds of footsteps that shook the ground could be heard. They were finally here, at a fast pace as well. Except for special floors, such as the labyrinth types, each floor typically had a single boss which dominated the floor, and they were the ones who had the strength. But their skills were necessarily proportional to the place that they dominated. This was because some of the monsters found it annoying to move out and fight. Those types instead moved to a lower floor to relax. And Penderiel was one of them, in an apocalypse where everything else had been destroyed. The ideal world it had sought after was a land where only the dead could roam. Countless zombies roared in the middle of the street, but, as if waiting for something, they didn't move. And at that moment, Penderiel took a step forward. Thick smoke rose over the streets. The effect of corrosion was caused by the poison from these walking corpses. Regular zombies had a certain amount of that effect, but the amount contained in Pendariel was very different. The intensity of Pendariel's corrosion was to the point that anything around it would burn. Its horrible appearance was that of a body stained with blood, pale skin and red hair that reached to its waist, an appearance of an undead that one would see only in nightmares. Penderiel gave the order. The zombies around it sprinted forward at once. Reinforced zombies that stood three meters in height stood at the front, followed by zombies with large arms or long heads. All of them were zombie types that typically only appeared in the second half of the siege. If the queen hadn't walked out with them, the zombies would have eventually been cleared out. However, all the powerful enemies were now being gathered in one place. All the plants guarding the entrance were smashed through. The rock plants and self-destruct types tried to stop them by sacrificing themselves, but failed. It was a natural outcome, because this was the kind of thing that couldn't be stopped. It is done. Pandariel, who had foreseen this, was confident of victory. After a short time, the arrogant human will be dragged out in front of it. But the sounds it heard from the zombies inside the stadium were unexpected. Four humans trapped in ice, and the person you speak of is not here. Humans locked in ice? Did they kill themselves after being scared of being tortured? Or maybe... Was there another plan? Pendariel thought of the current condition. It knew the provocation had been deliberate to get its zombies to this base. But why? It suddenly doubted everything about this. To weaken the power of this side, it would have needed to thoroughly distribute the zombies' power all around. To come to hunt me. And at that moment. Glacier Formation 3. Ice Jade, Myriad Transformation, Activated. The blackened world was painted in white. Walls of ice enveloped the Queen and its escort zombies. A world where everything was frozen white. A magic mirror that reflected the appearance of oneself. The last prison was created by the glacier formation. What? Is this? Pendariel was surprised. Pendaniel could not help but feel embarrassed by this, as the number of zombies within it constantly increased. It reached and broke the wall, 
but behind it was another wall that blocked the path. Even though the ice prison had been blown away, the opponent was nowhere in sight. Penderiel frowned as it looked around, but all it could see were pieces of ice. And at that moment, its gaze turned to the center of the barrier as if something was there. Something small, shiny, and had a faint amount of magic. It was no doubt the magic stone used to activate the barrier. Maybe it was bait. Using his base and colleagues as bait? He had also made Pendariel come here while he disappeared. There could only be one reason. As its thoughts connected the dots, its heart, which had withered long ago and ceased functioning, began to beat rapidly. Dangerous! For the first time, Panadriel felt fear. That man is really trying to destroy all the things I cherished and hoped for. Its instincts were giving it clear warnings. That single human was more dangerous than the thousands of players on this floor. The fourth floor was a base defense battle setup. This applied to both the players and the zombies. The queen had left her colony to move and kill Jin Hyuk, in other words. The base is empty. Jin Hyuk began to move quickly. He could keep his stamina up because of the sword demon emperor's footwork. It was then. Strong magic could be felt from far away. The queen was heading back with all of its might. I guess it isn't a fool. If Pendariel had attacked the stadium, the base would have been captured quickly. However, that didn't mean he would lose this battle. That was because a victory for the zombies was confirmed only when all of the players' bases on the fourth floor were destroyed, and hundreds of bases still stood tall now. Before they could destroy everything, their base was being destroyed, making them regroup. It is too late even if you know it now. Level and skill, power and speed. Everything was being pushed against Panadriel. That was a matter of course because the opponent was a boss monster who shouldn't even be on the fourth floor. In a straight-up fight, I will lose to her. However, overcoming the overwhelming difference and winning the war using the rules enforced on the floor, that was the way to climb the tower as a veteran. Jin Hyuk took a deep breath as he eventually reached the Queen's colony. The troops left behind caught his eyes. Forty? Of course, this would not even be enough to buy time against him. His twin swords were unsheathed. Sword Grave has been activated. The sword he held in his left hand pulsated with black energy. The dark red and black energy burned fiercely. Blessing of the Stars activated. The sword on his right was filled with the energy of the stars. The light that protected the constellations answered his call. And like that, the miracles of two forms had manifested. The zombies rushed in and were swept away in a single blow. Blood poured down like rain from the storm of dismembered arms and legs. This was a mass annihilation of zombies, not a fight. Jin Hyuk broke through the defense and dug in deeper. The view changed, and so did the air he breathed. The smell of blood became thick, and the peculiar smell of rotting corpses assailed his nose. It is disgusting no matter how many times I see it. Jin Hyuk frowned. If there was hell, would this be how it felt? A massive tomb of corpses and skeletons. As he moved further in, the number of zombies increased, but none of them could even take one hit from Jin Hyuk's twin blades. Where the zombies were concentrated, he used daylight to wipe them out in a single blow. Not far now. The flag of the queen was less than 100 meters away. The time has come for this. Jin Hyuk looked at the discolored floor. There was a place where he felt a sense of discomfort. In the past, he had been surprised over and over by this, the moment he thought that. A long blade protruded from the floor, but Jin Hyuk had already jumped back as it appeared. A giant zombie with two heads and a deformed body emerged from the ground. The watchman who guarded the queen's flag, also known as the Butcher, was the most annoying special zombie type. Despite there being annoying named monsters that he wouldn't ever want to fight against, if Jin Hyuk was asked to specify one, he would name this guy on the fourth floor. The Butcher had no vital points and could easily handle its two-meter-long scissor weapons. It could even stay mobile after losing its head. To completely stop it, the monster had to be reduced to small pieces or wholly dismembered. Even though Pendaniel was still far, it would return when he dealt with this. Jin Hyuk had around three minutes. Choose again. What do you want to do? Spicy? Neat cut? Jin Hyuk asked. The Butcher tilted its head. The individual heads move to separate sides to avoid colliding. Right. But this is my thirtieth time fighting against you. 
As he had climbed the tower numerous times, memories of that past kept coming back. The knives. He had used fire and even tried it with many chopsticks. He had to use around 180,000 of those to even crush one head back then. The butcher snipped its scissors. It was a torture weapon that could cut down even the thickest iron sheet. It must have taken the lives of so many until now. This prey was different, and they didn't know. The butcher aimed its scissors at Jin Hyuk's legs as he thrust his twin swords into the ground. The scissors were stopped by the swords. For some reason, it couldn't cut down the swords. Thinking that they were normal swords was the butcher's first mistake. And the second one. Ul V6 element of fire is activated. The main point was that Jin Hyuk wasn't just yet another human. He jumped over the head of the butcher and smiled. Ray of flames pierced both eyes. The flames which burned through the eyes pierced straight into its brain. He had learned how to inflict pain on them using chopsticks. Naturally, he had also learned the fastest and most effective way to kill them. Take the sight away. Next, take advantage of this and aim for the enemy's weakest point. Jin Hyuk gathered the sparks on his fingers. He then drew a runic spell at the butcher's feet. From below to above, a fire erupted that melted the butcher's flesh and bones. Jin Hyuk didn't stop his attack as this was a named zombie that could still move. The time to crush it was now at its weakest moment. Jin Hyuk moved his swords. A red line was drawn on the butcher's gray flesh. The butcher screamed and kept swinging its scissors. Rather than an attack, it was more of a movement caused by pain. And since it was such a directionless movement, it did nothing. Thank you. One minute, the shortest time taken. Thanks to this, he achieved a new record on the 31st attempt. Jin Hyuk's twin dragon swords pierced the butcher's spine. At the same time, he replaced the energy in them with mandala. His vision became golden. Level has risen. You have acquired scissors infused with spirit. Nothing was left standing in the place that the light had swept through. The butcher became nothing, leaving behind only its weapon. A level up and some rewards. Nothing can be compared to this. It felt worthwhile to run all the way here. The distribution of stats and confirmation of items should be done later. Now, all that was left was to pull the flag since no one was left to defend it. The fight was done. But at that moment, an unexpected status window popped up. Look at this? Jin Hyuk smirked. The Black Hound reveals its presence. On behalf of the Egyptian mythology, a suggestion would be made. Black Hound was just a title. It was Anubis. After his humiliation on the underground level of the first food, he had stayed silent, but for him to appear now. Interesting. Jin Hyuk looked at the sky while holding the flag with one hand. They must have been watching from the moment he entered the colony. No, maybe when he entered the fourth floor itself. Tell me if you are listening. Black Hound roars loudly. Anubis didn't hide his uncomfortable feeling as he expressed his presence and began to release divine energy. The air trembled as magic began to run wild. Of course, it wasn't much more than a threat. This wasn't the floor control. So what more could they do aside from cough and curse? Angry? Should I just pull this out? Do you still care? Jin Hyuk clenched the hand which held onto the flag. The flag was slightly lifted up. Then the energy that had manifested disappeared. Blackhound is incredibly flustered. He is asking you to calm down. They say they still want to see a proper end to the fight. I know. That is why they intervened. For those who dominated the tower's upper floors, it would be difficult to accept that the fourth floor was cleared without a proper boss fight. It was self-evident who would win the fight. They didn't want to see a cheeky human come out victorious. But that was their opinion. Why should I accept your suggestions? Jin Hyuk snorted in derision. There was no reason to fight against the boss as the end was already decided. Do not bother making cheap threats against me. To be honest, even if a god of your level barks for a hundred days, I will not be bothered. He'd instead request that Anubis come down to speak to him face to face. If you would rather negotiate with us, then use something. Offer me something that might make me want to change my mind. For the fight against the queen? Jin Hyuk gave out his terms, and the status window halted. After ten seconds had passed. Black Hound says if you agree to the fight, he will present you with the Jackal's Tooth. Jackal's Tooth was a material that increased attack speed by ten percent. Although there were restrictions placed on item upgrades, it was still at least an A-rank effect. But in terms of how it would be used, 
it would be closer to an S-rank item, and it looked like it would be enough of a bribe to satisfy him. The problem was, I am a greedy person. Jin Hyuk smiled. First of all, give me all the teeth, and if you grant me something else, I will think about it. Blackhound is incredibly shocked. He asks how you know about the teeth. The most powerful of the jackal's teeth were the molars. Unlike the other teeth, the molars would increase the attack speed by 20%. A particular molar would even grant an increase of 30%. The strongest teeth would be able to leave a large scar on an opponent's body and were one of the best items that Anubis could give. You don't need to know how I know. Will you accept the condition or not? Blackhound wonders what the second condition is. It is nothing. There is a thing called the white twig among the B-rank items. I need that. Of course, everything mentioned till now has to be an advance payment. White twigs were mainly used for medicinal purposes, but could not be obtained on the fourth floor. However, after the tenth floor, they would be easily available. Naturally, from the viewpoint of Anubis, they were nothing more than trash. Blackhound accepts your offer. The contract has been set. Blackhound will pay the promised two items right away, and player Kang Jin Hyuk will not draw the flag until the fight with the queen is complete. Sharp-looking molars and white twigs appeared in front of him. Caught him! Jin Hyuk bit his lip. This arrogant god thought everyone was below him. From now on, he will hit rock bottom and regret it. And with that, this chapter comes to an end. I hope that you liked today's video, and if you did, hit that like button as today's like aim is 1000 likes. Comment part 10 below for the next part. Also, consider subscribing with the notification bell on to get notified as soon as a new video drops onto the channel. You can also join the channel to support me financially and watch videos before public release. I'll meet you in the next video until then thanks for watching. Or